This is the second video on section 5.6. We're going to look at indirect reasoning. Let's suppose a student looks around the cafeteria and concludes that hamburgers are not being served and explains as follows. At first, I assumed that we are having hamburgers because today is Tuesday and Tuesday is usually hamburger day. There's always ketchup on the table when we have hamburgers, so I look for the ketchup, but I didn't see any. So my assumption that we are having hamburgers must be false. The student used indirect reasoning. So far in this text, We've reasoned directly from the given information to prove the desired conclusions. In an indirect proof, you start by making the temporary assumption that your desired conclusion is false. By then showing this assumption leads to a logical impossibility, you are proving that the original statement is true by contradiction. So when you use indirect reasoning or an indirect proof, you are actually proving something by contradiction. So it can also be proved by contradiction. It can be called that as well. So here's how you would write an indirect proof. Step one is to identify the statement you want to prove. Assume temporarily that this statement is false by assuming that its opposite is true. Step two is to reason, reason logically until you reach a contradiction. At that point, you're going to point out that the desired conclusion must be true because the con contradiction proves that the temporary assumption is false. We're going to try one together. Suppose you wanted to prove this statement. If x plus y does not equal 14 and y equals 5, then x doesn't equal 9. What temporary assumption could you make to prove the conclusion indirectly? How does that assumption lead to a contradiction? Well, here's your statement. And it's a conditional statement. We're going to assume what we don't want to show. We want to show that X doesn't equal nine. So what we're going to do is assume the opposite. So we're going to assume that X does equal nine. And then we're going to reason logically. Hopefully we get some type of contradiction, which then means that assuming this was wrong, which means that this is true. So if we're assuming that X equals nine, we know that Y equals five. So nine plus five equals 14. But it says here that it doesn't equal 14. That's a false statement. So assuming that X equals nine leads to a false statement here when you know this has to be true, but we just showed it's false. That's a contradiction. When you have a contradiction, what that means is what you assumed was not true. So, if this was not true, then X does not equal nine. So we just indirectly showed that X doesn't equal nine. That's your indirect proof or your indirect reasoning or proof by contradiction.